Bish. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot as a mother. It's hot as a motherfucker. Hi guys, it's Nicole here again, coming to you with a new video. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. I, I always say it in every video, but I really am excited for this one. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers, so I want to say hello if you're new, if you're an oldie but a goodie, hi, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are back to watch this video, and by the title, you already know what the topic is, you already know what we're using, so I hope you guys are excited for this one. This one is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, I actually have some way, somewhere to go for 3 p.m. and the time is 2.16. How are we gonna do this? I don't know. But I'm super excited about this one. I just want to welcome everybody who's new. Um, if you've been familiar with my channel, you know I recently started incorporating Lee, who is my partner on my channel. So you get a bit of everything, just basically, every, just about almost every part of my life that I'm sharing with you. So I'm so excited that you guys subscribed. And if you have not, a lot of you are not subscribed, like a lot of you. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you like hit the like button if you enjoy this video and make sure you turn on your bell notification for you to be notified every time I upload a new video went to the drugstore I wanted to try some new makeup I don't know I think my love for makeup is simply just buying new makeup too I like trying new things so we all have that one maybe foundation or that one concealer or that one setting powder that we like to stick to I have that too but I also like trying new things especially in the drugstore I feel like drugstores sometimes are more affordable you know um, you get you get your money's worth with product and it's better it's best to use you know when like not every day for me i usually use drugstore i usually use my high-end products like if i need a long lasting makeup or i'm going somewhere where i'm not going to be able to touch up my makeup so you want something to last very long but in terms of like everyday wear maybe just work especially work i usually use um drugstore products for work because you don't want to be wasting your you know expensive brand foundation every day you would you would be constantly buying foundation if that's the case and some of these foundation range from 50 starting at 45 you know i think of the most i've seen a foundation for is like 200 and something dollars so the last thing you want to do is not make it convenient for your lifestyle when you know you you want to spend all your coins like come on man we ain't about that life. We we trying to save some coin and still look good. You still want to be pretty on a I wanted to make this video a full Maybelline product video, but I couldn't find a pencil, so that's why my eyebrows are already did. And you know I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in Ebony. That's what I use on my brows. But I did use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Is this the Fit Me? Yeah, I think, yeah. I did use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to conceal my brows, so... It's somewhat, you know, only our brows and our primer. I think the brow, my brows and my primer is what I cheated on. So my brows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade and my primer is the Becca, Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer and I've talked about that in a previous video. So if you have not picked it up, now is a good time. It's a good, it's a good summer primer because it keeps your skin, if you have oily skin that is, it keeps your skin very matte. So it's a really good primer to use in your foundation routine. But anyway, so uh, there are a few things that are, that are now circulating heavily on social media and I wanted to talk a bit about it while doing my makeup. So I rambled enough. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Okay, so don't forget, everything is going to be listed down below, and I'm going to tell you what I'm using at the same time that I'm using. So like I said, I already primed, and I don't know, I got the Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick from, 
it's gonna focus yeah um, I got the Superstay multi stick in Maybelline but I don't know I think it's a bit dark I think it's gonna be really really dark for for me and honestly I like I actually like my foundation a shade darker than my face because I know on camera it looks like my but okay but if I put my hand there you can see that my hand is much more darker than my chest and my face so I kind of like to balance or find a medium in between both I know some people don't like that some people just like going straight in with the color of their skin on the color of their face but I don't like that I like to find a shade in between the shades of my body if that makes sense so something not too completely dark but something that's in between my chest my face and my hands and so yeah my arms are different but e everywhere the sun hits it's obviously going to be darker um, especially more than your face so the next foundation um, that I also got was the super stay full coverage powder foundation and this is what it looks like I picked these up locally are you guys can see that I picked these up locally um, when I saw it I was super excited because I've never tried a powder foundation I always wanted to so I'm super excited about that I think I'm going to go with the powder foundation as my choice for this video I also got two Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I got the color 45 Tan and 40 Caramel. One is a bit darker than the than the. Oh, Got cover my face. One is a bit darker than the next. Excuse my nails. I need a fill. <laughs> but one is a bit darker than the next. So one I'm going to use to highlight under my eyes with, and I'm going to use the other darker one to blend it up. And then I also got the powder in 355 Coconut. Let's focus. I also got the powder in 355 Coconut, and I'm hoping this is my shade. It looks like it. Yeah, it really does. It it, it looks it looks lighter on camera. I don't know why, but it's not that light in person. And then it also comes with a mirror also comes with a mirror and a sponge I don't I don't really use these I don't know if people still use these but I don't use these so that's that and then I also got the Maybelline City mini palette and I actually got this because I saw that I remember that Shayla had a collab with Maybelline with a city mini palette so I haven't worn eyeshadow in a while so I'm super excited about using this so I wonder if I should go in with eyes first. Let's go in with eyes first. So we're going to use the Maybelline City Mini Palette. And it's a very like neutral palette. Not much going on. But I'm curious to see what it looks like. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to conceal our eyelids a bit with the Fit Me Concealer. And let's just blend that out a bit. See how this blends up. If you guys hear some construction, you know, please try to ignore it. My neighbors are doing construction, so you might hear that in the background. Okay, so let's go in. I'm going to try and use the tan shade here. It's, yeah, on camera it's looking, yeah, it's looking very washed out on camera, but it's almost like this tan shade right here. It's much more dark in person. So let's see how that looks on the eyelid. I think that's gonna be too light. I don't even think that, yeah, that's too light. Yeah, that's too light. Yeah, it's too light. See that? So I'm going to use the KKW times Mario. And she has a nice... I would show y'all this palette, but I like this palette looks too bad. This is one of my favorite palettes, child. I can't, I can't show y'all this. I too shame. 
So I'm just going to use a shade from her palette as a transition color because for my skin tone there isn't a transition color in there. So we're just patting that on. Just going to pat that on and blend the edges out a bit. Like that. So first, let me ask, how are you guys doing? I hope that everybody's mental health and, you know, health in general is good with this pandemic going on. In the Bahamas, numbers are rising, so I'm hoping that the majority of people who are watching this video, let's, let's try and practice, you know, safe measures by washing your hands and you know sanitizing and wearing your mask i think the mask is a, is very important i think that's that's a big one there like but yeah guys i hope that everybody is safe and well i really do hope so i always just say that to people and i always send that as a message because i really do hope it and i myself you know try to practice safe um I try to be safe when I'm interacting with others and especially when I step foot outside my door. But Lee gets tested regularly. So that's kind of my safe haven for knowing, you know, if I'm if I had contracted the disease and I sometimes get regularly tested as well. But I know that if she catch she catches it then I'm not too I'll catch it for definitely. But yeah. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys. And if you guys see me look down, <clears throat> I'm just looking at my notes. I took some notes for this topic because I really wanted to talk about mental health because it's so prominent now on social media and I think in life in general. And I don't think we talk about it enough, especially in the black community and especially where I'm from. It's almost like mental health is taboo for some reason. It's like nothing is wrong with your mental health. You're just crazy. And it's sad that we live in a society that thinks that way and don't take it as serious. Maybe like some other countries or maybe in our culture, we don't take it as serious as we should. But I wanted to talk about that because I've been following the news, especially with, you know, the gymnast Simone Biles and the tennis player Naomi what's her name Osaka I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that right but I've been following the news and especially the Olympics with all that's happened with Simone Biles and her decision and I and I saw so much mixed reviews online about her decision to withdraw in regards to her mental health and initially when I saw that she withdraw, I was like, hold up, wait, what? Did she get injured? You know, I think everybody, everybody figured, hey, she maybe got injured. And then she came out and, you know, gave a statement that it wasn't due to, well, a coach came out and said that it wasn't due to a injury. It was more, you know, it was her protecting her mental health. And I applaud her. I think people don't don't put enough emphasis on your mental it's almost like I I'm gonna put it on the screen but I was watching a interview with another gymnast and they call it something stick easy they call it something where your mind and your body disconnects and they said that it's very it's very unsafe for a gymnast to be in that state of mind and I think I guess that's what she may be was suffering or experiencing and I applaud her for it. I can only imagine how hard it must have been for her to make that decision. And you know, people wanna call her for it. And I saw a lot of mixed reviews online about the decision she made. And people, people were saying that, you know, she's a quitter and 
how could she do this she could have given the spot to another girl you know all of this but she wouldn't have known that her mental health um may have you know played a major role in her not performing at her best and that's what it all boils down to i don't think anybody can judge if your mental health is okay or is it, or if it's stable or in a good place and so i i wrote down some notes because i wanted to come up with a definition for mental health personally your mental health is different from mine and your definition is also going to be different from mine and i basically feel as if you know mental health is a personal and um a personal and continued journey through life learning how to cope with daily experiences where the outcome is contingent upon how we act feel and think and that's to sum it up you know I feel as if mental health is a personal journey I can't tell you your mental health isn't good I don't think a doctor can tell me if my mental health is good I feel as if my mental health depends on me personally how I feel how I act you know and how I think and if I'm not operating at a hundred percent myself then I know something is wrong or if I'm not in the 90s then I know something is wrong or you know you get to a point of whatever percentage or two mentally and you decide whether you are okay or if you're not okay and so I think it's that state that comes as where we are stable to act our true and authentic selves and so you might look at somebody and say oh you're so crazy or oh, he crazy and and we say that a lot in my culture like don't mind it me crazy or don't mind us she crazy and we say that a lot but you know your sanity and your mental health is your business it's only your business if you allow yourself to share it with people and that's a journey you have to take with with yourself you know I can't people can't take that with you what oh, is this pretty why is looking so regular on camera it is looking real regular on camera <laughs> but yeah but I feel like you know mental health is a very personal journey it's a journey where you decide and only you can say if you're okay or not and I can't even imagine her being in that position to decide to withdraw from a major comp competition like that so I think it's important I think it's a conversation that needs to be relevant especially in the black community I feel like we must take it as serious as it is it's not it's not something that we should take very lightly I feel like we need to put more emphasis on it I feel like we need to encourage kids and the younger generation to speak up to say if you're not okay and to let them know if you're not okay that's okay too like it's okay not to be okay <laughs> and that's just basically saying it plainly like you can't get it no more obvious than that if you're not okay you're just not okay and that's okay you're not going to be a thousand or a hundred percent all the time like who is no one is that perfect nobody's life is that perfect like what who are you are you a robot you have to be yeah but that's my five cent on mental health so I'm pretty much done with the eyes I did like this I don't know on picture on camera it looks different but it's like this coral this coral color with a deeper brown in the crease I wonder if I want to go darker I haven't made up my mind yet it looks a bit light the crease looks a bit light on camera I'm just blending that out some more okay so next we're going to go in with the powder foundation like I said I think this is going to look a bit darker it is going to be darker on camera because it is dark in person so 
I don't mind that. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the Real Techniques brush, buffing brush. I know this is going to look really dark because it looks dark on the brush. Okay. It's not. Yeah, it is dark. Oh! OJ. Oh, okay, we go work with it. We go. We go, we go work with it. Let's see. But you see what I'm saying? It's much. It's much darker than my skin, but it's something that I can work with when I'm looking at the tones in the other parts of my body. I don't know, this ain't feeling like, I like the finish of it, but it's not looking like it's going to last through the day. Let's see. Hmm, I don't know, it's looking patchy. No, <laughs> I don't know if I'm liking this. Cause like, you see how that spot, that's, okay, let's see if we can buff that out. Maybe I'm not putting it on. Yeah, I'm not. Hmm. Okay, let's use the foundation stick on the next side. So if, okay, this, maybe the foundation stick might work better. Okay. I see they have this buffer. Let's feel it. It feels good. Let's see how it works when buffing that out. Okay, that's not bad. not bad okay this 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 thing is going to take me forever so <laughs> let's go in with the tech real techniques brush to see if we could blend this out okay it's looking a lot better than the powder Okay, and the coverage is kind of good. Let's put some more. I don't really like stick foundations because I feel like they always tend to get oily through the day. Okay, let's put some on the nose. And let's see the comparison. Yeah, the shade is a big difference. And the shade is a big difference compared to the powder foundation. Hmm. Now please ignore my little friend right there. Okay, so on camera it's giving more of a sheen. So maybe that might be the difference with this and the powder foundation. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go in with the concealer. I'm going to go in with the, I hope this is the lighter concealer. No, it isn't. I wanted to, oh, this color isn't bad. So let's just go in with the concealer. I'm just going to let this dry down a bit. I don't think this concealer dries down quickly. So I think we have some room to play with. Yeah. 
Yeah, guys, back to what we were saying that I think we need to take mental health a bit more serious in the black community and, you know, applaud someone who, you know, decide, makes that decision that's best for them to step away whether it be you know in the olympics or a competition or even a job sometimes you know some jobs could be very stressful and i know people would say well oh you know you have a family to take care of and you have bills and you have all these different responsibilities but if you're not operating at you know a level you're comfortable with then how can you perform how can you take care of the persons who you know you're responsible for and that goes for like kids your partner maybe you're single and own a house and you have a mortgage but if you can't perform at your best or you know that percentage would makes you feel comfortable then how how are you going going to make it I think you'll eventually crash at some point at some point your body or your mind will tell you hey we need to take a break and I always do that throughout my life if I need a break I take that break I won't lie and that's work that's YouTube that's um, relationship that's everything if I need that break, honey, I'm taking that break. And I think there's a lot of ways that you can try and protect your mental health in regards to if something isn't, you know, working and you're better, you know, it's, it, it isn't working better for you or it's not bringing value to your life or maybe that friendship is draining you or maybe, you know, that relationship is draining you or maybe that job is making you unhappy sometimes you just need to accept that reality and focus on you and that's your way of protecting your mental health protecting your energy like I'm big on my energy if you ain't giving off the right energy then baby you gotta go no like this ain't gonna work I can't be a friend I can't be with you in a relationship you got to go and not everybody has that courageous spirit to walk away but sometimes honey you have to do what's best for you and if that means walking away from that person or that job then by all means baby you need my shoes because I can lend you in you know but you just try to you just want to be the best you for yourself not for no one else and that's what it boils down to if you're happy with you then baby I'm happy with you that's how I am so well that's how I am with myself and that's how I am with people once you're happy and you say hey I'm doing this and this is going to make me happy or this is making me happy then baby let's do it So I think I'm ready to set this. I actually like the way the concealer blended out and I actually really like the color of the concealer. It's not too bad. It's good. The concealer isn't a, isn't giving a thick consistency. It's giving more of a, a sheer consistency. I'm using the Fenty setting powder again. I don't really like this powder as a setting powder. I don't know why I'm using it, but I'm going to try it. Looks like it wants to behave. It's just a bit drying for me. That's why I don't like it. Okay, this concealer does crease easily. So before you set your, your concealer, you would want to go in. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, I take too much. You would want to go in with your beauty blender and blend it right before applying your setting powder mm. 
Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's do a bit of contouring. Not too much. Just a little. Just something to bring back some dimension to the face. Okay, I like how the foundation looks with the contour. That looks really good. Let's put some up here, not too much. Sometimes, sometimes I do go over my contour with my with my bronze um, bronze powder but I like the way this looks so let's go ahead and set the face with the Maybelline fit me powder hopefully it isn't too bright or maybe if it's brighter okay that's not too bright oh that's nice it's a nice color okay we're doing good we're doing good so far so good let's go in with some blush i didn't get a blush from maybelline so i'm just going to go in with an elf, uh, elf blush okay so i think with this look i want to do a winged liner i don't know i think it's gonna look good if you want an in-depth video of a winged liner of how to do a oh, really nice winged liner let me know in the comments Okay, let's add some mascara. Some lashes. These are some very fluffy lashes, so I know how these go look, but hopefully they turn out good. Okay, for my lips, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color 65, Seductress. Yes, we're going to go in with that on the lips. Let's go ahead and line the lips with MAC and this is Chestnut I'm using. guys this is the final look I am loving it I just decided to throw some wand curls in my hair and as you can see they don't last very long because it is a very hot so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this look I hope you guys enjoyed our little you know our little powwow about mental health and I do want to stress that it is important to take care of yourself I'm not you know a physician or a psychiatrist or anything of the sort but you know as i get older i've learned to 
the only way you can I've learned that the only way you can pour into your pour into someone's cup is unless your cup is full and you want to make sure that you as an individual as a person is whole in order to give parts and pieces of yourself to someone else and you know that even includes your children your family your job you know all of that you want to be at your 100% or your most maximum level in order to perform at your best and your best also depends on what you see not what not what other others see for you so I just hope everybody is doing good I'm taking care of my mental health I think I'm going to do a next series where I share a bit of what I do to take care of my mental health you know mental health is a very serious topic and you know it can get very deep and very you know um, emotional for a lot of people but you know take care take care of yourself take care of the people around you but make sure to take care of you first. That's the priority. And that's the only way you're going to be your best self. But anyway, I'm rambling on with my cute little look. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get dressed to where I am going. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little look. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you like this video because you like the look. And if you do want me to do a video on how I apply my wigs on my hair, I think I'm going to do a next video of how I curl my hair with my beachy babes. So if you want that, let me know. Just make sure you go ahead and drop it into the comments. And yeah, make sure you turn on your bell notification to get notified every time I just sit me around really looking at myself. <laughs> Make sure you click the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this look. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to leave me a comment down below of any future videos you might want to see. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!